All right, let's get this coffee table built and we'll include a hidden drawer too. I had these legs left over from a previous build design change. So I cut them in half and use them for this project. This is how I joint boards without a jointer. I have a nine foot square piece of aluminum tubing that I attach to my table saw fence with a couple of clamps. I find the concave side of each board. I place it against this extended fence, making sure both ends are touching it and run it through. Then I turn the board around and repeat the process. After plating down and gluing up these pieces, they will become the rails for the frame of the coffee table. I can't live without icing spatulas to spread that glue. Another thing in my shop that I can't live without is my four inch magnetic hose connectors. I found a shop on Etsy called Dirty Dog Woodworking, and I spoke with the guy who owns the shop. His name is Chris O'Connor. He's a really good dude, and he's provided me with a link to his shop and a discount coupon code. So why don't you take a look at that? It's down in the description. My brother slipped once while using a table saw. He's now my half-brother. Just getting finished milling up some more boards for the top of the coffee table, the bottom shelf, and the side panels. As a woodworker, I spend a lot of time on my feet in the shop, gathering materials, moving from tool to tool, standing on concrete floors, and one of the most underrated items you can possess is a really good pair of shop shoes. Now, those shop shoes have insoles in them that will wear out over time, and when it comes time to replace those insoles, I found a product that's pretty damn good. Flow Sole Insoles are the perfect product to replace those worn out insoles in your current shop shoes. You know the ones causing you all sorts of pain, discomfort. So check out the coupon code for 20% off and the Amazon link in the description below. reason that didn't record but this is what I did. Time to build the side panels. Don't those pocket holes just look dandy? You know I was really trying to come up with a carpentry pun that would work up this portion of the video. Yeah, I think I nailed it. Okay, let's put this frame together really, really fast. Here's where I attach the drawer glides for that secret drawer. Well, it's not a super secret drawer, but when it's closed, it will look just like the rail on the opposite side of the coffee table, so you won't even know it's there. 
the other day while I was in my shop, I was feeling kind of down about not having a lot of YouTube subscribers or getting a lot of views on my uploads. And suddenly, I heard a voice. And the voice was saying, don't worry about it. Everything will work out. Just keep going and things will get better. I was really spooked. I started looking around. I looked at my tool wall. And the voice came back to me and said, yeah, it's me, your coping saw. Hey, did you hear about the woodworker who used to make action figures? He called them the Tree Musketeers. What does a woodworker take to the doctor? A stool sample. Here I just added some mounting rails so I can secure it to the bottom of the coffee table. Here I'm ripping up some strips in order to attach the tabletop to build up the edges. Gives it a more of a thick appearance than what it would if it was just a single layer of wood. I had to plane down some of the underside in order for the buildup to lay flat. I'll just clamp this up and wait for the glue to dry. But in the meantime, I'll take some measurements for some edge banding, which I'll end up putting a nice chamfer on. You know how much I like the chamfer. The edge banding will hide that double layer of buildup that I had just attached to the top. I really wanted to come up with another carpentry pun for the end of this video, but I'm stumped. Thanks for watching, and it would really help if you would hit that subscribe button. I hope you learned something today. But now, I gotta get out of here.